Transposition of the great arteries is one of the most common congenital heart diseases, about 4.7% of all cases. It refers to an abnormal ventricular arterial connection. The aorta takes its origin from the morphologically right ventricle and the pulmonary artery from the morphological left ventricle. In case of transposition of the great arteries, the aorta is frequently located anteriorly and the pulmonary artery posteriorly. There are three main types of transposition of the great arteries. Simple transposition of the great arteries with intact interventricular septum, which is the most common type, 60% of cases. Transposition of the great arteries with ventricular septal defect, that occurs in 20% of cases. Transposition of the great arteries with ventricular septal defect and pulmonary stenosis that occurs in 15% of cases. Pathophysiology of transposition of the great arteries does not allow life because the circulation is in parallel and not in series as in normal hearts. Venous blood cannot reach the lungs, thus blood cannot be oxygenated. In children that are born with transpositions of the great arteries, life is temporarily allowed by an atrial septal defect, a ventricular septal defect, or a patent ductus arteriosus, which create a connection between the left and the right heart. Full-term babies usually present severe cyanosis that might not be reduced by oxygen therapy. In simple forms of transposition of the great arteries, no systolic murmur may be heard, but in complex ones, those with ventricular septal defect or those with ventricular septal defect and pulmonary stenosis, a systolic murmur may be heard. Complex forms with ventricular septal defect may even present symptoms of heart failure during the first weeks of life. The most useful methods of diagnosis are electrocardiography, ECG, chest radiography, echocardiography, cardiac catheterization. Electrocardiography shows marked right ventricular hypertrophy. Chest radiography usually shows a common feature of the transposition of the great arteries, the so-called egg-shaped heart, due to the fact that the two great arteries are superimposed in the anteroposterior projection. Echocardiography usually allows accurate diagnosis and quantification of atrial septal defect size. Echo TGA with VSD. This is a case of transposition of the great arteries with large posterior ventricular septal defect shown on the subcostal view. The defect, located in proximity of the atrioventricular valves, is not related to the great arteries. Echo TGA apical. A case of transposition of the great arteries shown on an anterior apical view. The ventricular arterial discordance is clearly demonstrated. The pulmonary trunk, recognized by its branching, originates from the left ventricle and the aorta takes off from the right ventricle. Echo TGA parasternal. This is a classic case of transposition of the great arteries with intact ventricular septum. The parasternal long axis view clearly demonstrates the double barrel arrangement of the great arteries which run parallel with the aorta anterior to the pulmonary trunk. Cardiac catheterization is the most common procedure, since nearly all infants with transposition of the great arteries need to undergo a Rashkind atrioseptostomy. The procedure involves creation of an interatrial communication by rupture of the membranous oval foramen. Cardiac catheterization allows evaluation of other pathologies, like multiple ventricular septal defects, as well. Corrective surgery is the sole definitive treatment for transposition of the great arteries. Prostaglandin therapy may be useful for patients who present left to right intercirculatory mixing. Diuretic and digoxin therapy may be useful for patients who present heart failure and are waiting for surgery. Three different surgical techniques may be performed. 
The Senning and Mustard atrial switch procedure was commonly performed in the past. It is now the procedure of choice only for those cases diagnosed after the first month of life. The arterial switch operation should be performed in case of simple transposition or in the case of transposition of the great arteries with ventricular septal defect during the first month of life. The Rastelli procedure or the REV Reparation à l'étage ventriculaire procedure involve closure of the ventricular septal defect and reconstruction of the ventricular outflow tract. The Rastelli procedure involves placement of valved conduit in order to reconstruct the right ventricular outflow tract. The REV procedure is carried out to connect the pulmonary artery directly to the left ventricle. Operative indications vary according to the anatomical type of transposition of the great arteries. Newborns with simple transposition of the great arteries must undergo the arterial switch operation within the first 10 to 15 days of life. The arterial switch procedure restores the normal anatomical relationship of the great arteries. With transposition of the great arteries with small ventricular septal defect, the arterial switch operation is carried out within the first 10 to 15 days of life, as with simple transposition of the great arteries. With a large ventricular septal defect, babies are not at high risk of desaturation and the arterial switch operation may be carried out within the first month of life. The animation shows here the arterial switch operation. After the two vessels, the aorta and the pulmonary artery, have been isolated, surgeons cut the two vessels at one centimeter from the root. The coronary artery are then detached from the aorta along with a button of aortic tissue. The coronary arteries are re-implanted into the pulmonary artery, as the animation show. the pulmonary artery becomes now the new aorta and takes its origin from the left ventricle. Since a portion of the aortic root has been excised, now it must be reconstructed in order to form the new pulmonary artery. The missing portion is reconstructed using a patch of pericardium from the patient. The Lecomte maneuver is now performed. The aorta is sutured posteriorly at the root of the new aorta. The pulmonary artery is brought forward and takes its origin from the right ventricle that now shows its normal anatomy and functions. With transposition of the great arteries with ventricular septal defect and pulmonary stenosis, corrective surgery involves two different procedures. Firstly, according to the degree of cyanosis, a palliative systemic pulmonary shunt operation is required during the first months of life. Then, after the second year of life, corrective surgery is carried out. Corrective surgery involves closure of the ventricular septal defect and reconstruction of the right ventricular outflow tract. As Rastelli procedure or REV, Reparation à l'étage ventriculaire, procedure involve. The Rastelli procedure involves placement of valved conduit in order to reconstruct the right ventricular outflow tract. In the animation, the valve conduit is placed between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery bifurcation. Through the valved conduit, blood flows directly from the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery.